Yeah. Yep. You got one. Just confirming it's the single story house. Copy. Hey, what do you think about freezing? Because as we just kind of talk, you know, we're talking about allegations at this point, but I mean, I, I think it sounds like pretty substantial. Um, if we don't get anything from their roots with mom, what about seeing if uh, Sam 11 or somebody can start shooting a phone call in and start just working that as far as talking to them about what's going on? I like it. Uh, uh, I think we'll just have Nora 1 do it. Your incident we have Nora 1 on, on this call. I'll give her a holler. Your incident has been updated. Okay. Six, myself and 19 have eyes on the 3 4 side. Your 
Simmons is going to have someone who can articulate. Uh, he has moms calling in the bump thread saying that there was a legit mom. See if we can go off of that. I mean, she'd rather work it now instead of later. I'd rather now than later. No, it's fine. I'm assuming they're going going off of terroristic threat. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I mean, at some point we got to use figure out these uh, these houses over here on Gilpin. So either the the thought would be just looking up numbers for for those houses and having somebody shoot calls to um, get a plain close person to just start doing knocks. Or uh, we wait, and then when we get ready to, to turn out, to make contact, is then stun out that other group. said the bomb was in the basement. Um, I don't know if that's where he lives. Mm. I wonder if Freddy's in route. Soon, APS is going to be all over. There. I'm calling Freddy just to make sure. Yeah. I don't know if that's how it works, but it makes sense to me. 
Yeah, it would work. For sure. See, I can go take a peek. Yeah. that he wanted to go out on blades. Yeah, I heard that. I, I guess his target was a PD building or a FBI building or a federal building or federal something. Building. Yeah, PD or federal or so. Described it and everything like diameter or like what length width. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna read a little bit more. She said it's in a box about three and a half feet by 20 inches. Told RP it would blow up entire PD or Fed building. She wants to die and go out in a blaze. Said he wants to kill RP and husband too.
rave from this side. I'm ready to push the four-way yellow. Oh, Six on four. So you have two windows on the four side. Small one to the left is the bathroom. The next one, number two window is the kitchen and dining room. Three side, kitchen, dining room. Number two is the family room. And number three is. <laughs> Why is that like that? Okay. Mm -hmm. That's about glare for me too. Hey, do we know if he have a car or anything, or is there any kind of vehicle? I'm just wondering if they were FaceTiming, or if the dude sent mom a picture, or if she was actually in the house when he showed her the bomb, because it also said that she was like an academy but then all of a sudden and somewhere like and somewhere in that it said he, she left the house and went to a, it went to pilgrimage Again. And flip it again. That was weird. 
probably was sitting there for with the hazards on. You can tell if they're just watching because they probably got the Everbridge. But then they flipped. Yeah, and, and then they flipped, flipped again. again. Lincoln 16 or whatever. Like that car's just been sitting there forever and it has the shape of a Highlander. So I was like, huh. Yeah, but it's silver. It's one of the explorers. Yeah. Nah, I'm positive. I could double check the map, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that's probably going to be Lincoln 16. Yeah. over to this, I'll just keep pouring the car, I'm not worried about mm -hmm. going out on it right now. What's that? It sounds more legit than Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Wasn't there uh, some other address they thought he might go to to look for that? Pilgrimage. Yeah, I got Courtney uh, looking for it as well. She's going through all the priors because I know this sounds strangely familiar. There, it's it was in the call screen. Uh, it's the one that uh, he believes parents are going to be at. Uh, I'm not sure if they sent the unit over there or not.
know it's off the pilgrimage. I don't know where the pilgrimage is. Somewhere in here. Because the, the mom said, the RP said that's the only place she thinks she would go. Is that pilgrimage address that's in the screen. his house. My mom lives at Pilgrimage. Mm. Oh, this is, this is the RP's address. Yeah, that's true. about our best luck of locating him is if uh, they'll help ruse him uh, to see where he's at. I agree with you. I don't think he's going to be here, but Jared wants to clear the house just in case. I'm, gonna, I'm on the phone with LT right now just to see what he, what he thinks. So pilgrimage is on the other side. Yeah. Um, I'm good with clearing it uh, if they want to give us permission. And then um, I think if we let if Bethany says they have a PC for a felony menacing, then we can just uh, shoot the dog in and let it, if there's no pets in. Yeah, copy. And I just got done talking to Jared, and he said the I haven't seen the Highlander. I don't know if you guys have been out here before, but he said it's they said it's virtually impossible to get it in that garage. Oh, like there's not even a way he could hide it in there. Yeah. So I I was looking back at the priors. Uh, I, I do remember this call when they came in. Uh, it was pretty similar as far as threatening to kill them. And then uh, he wasn't on scene at that time either. Um, and I I don't ever recall what the outcome was for whoever it was the deputy that was investigating it as far as PC goes. They made contact with the RP, never made contact with the suspect. Mm -hmm. The RP stated that he was free to talk, didn't have any uh, threats, nothing else going on scene, so they added caution notes and closed the call last night. Okay, copy. So no charges last time, now possibility of.
Hey, you guys think we can probably uh, break down some of the guys on the backside and stuff? Yeah, I agree. They're saying we could 19, break. 18. Break. Go for 19. You guys go ahead and break down back there. Copy. You went 19 to come up with you guys? Negative, just you guys hang loose in the area for a little bit. Copy. 18 8. Okay. We're just going to with one. Uh, he's going to be coming on the night here in a second. So uh, he's good with our plan of just clearing this. And then we'll uh, do the uh, sort of lifers with the bomb. Uh, DOD is also listening in. If we need them, we'll just back out and call them in. Other than that, uh, we'll work this house to make sure it's safe for them to go home and then start working the back end. Okay, sounds like a plan. Hey, did you guys notice that there was uh, entry on the call screen? We don't have screens up. Hi, Pam. This is Deputy Gibson with the El Paso County Sheriff's Office. Yeah, hi. hi, Sergeant Harmon um, instructed me to call you. I've got some questions for you. Um, uh, if you have a minute to answer. Yeah. Um, okay, so this morning, um, to, uh, tell me, I know that we were out there last night um, because was it your husband that called? No, nobody was out there at our house. He just called to ask um, what's your husband's name? I'm, I'm sorry, I have a hard time we're in a car with traffic and our dogs. Okay, what was that question? What's your husband's name? Jonathan Fuller. And what's his date of birth? Tell me what happened this morning. Well, I'm, I'm working with the sheriffs right now. Yeah, I'm the deputy. I'm, yeah, I'm the deputy who needs to, who has taken over. So we're actually at your house right okay. now and we have it surrounded. So I need uh, to a ask these questions quickly. Okay. Oh my God, is the car there, the Toyota uh, Highlander, the gold one? We'll get to that in just a minute. Um, what's... Uh, I'm asking because I don't want him, you have to know he's got a bomb. Right, we know that. So what happened okay. this morning? Um, he does not want us to leave the floor out and we sat down to talk to him at lunch about it and said, we have no choice. We sold the house. We have to move. Okay. And he, he pretty much went nuts. He ran down and got his gun, came up and loaded him and had him aimed at us and told us, the fight starts now and this ends today. And you guys are going with me. We're all going to die together. And he literally proceeded to then run back down the stairs and bring up a box that was very, very heavy and open it and show us the contents. And all we could see was a bunch of chemicals arranged in it. And I have no clue what it is, but he said this is enough. Um, what do you call it? Uh, to, to, uh, to take out a federal building, uh, an entire police department, and he went on and on, and he said, so I am loaded and ready. And he said, you're not calling anybody. And he grabbed my phone. And I said, Andy, we're not doing anything. We're trying to talk to you. And he started guzzling vodka, which he doesn't drink. He just turned 21, so he he has never been a drinker. Okay. So he said, I've got to have this to handle what's going to happen. But he literally let us know that if I didn't tell him we weren't moving to Florida, that we were going to die right then and there. And so I lied to him and I said, okay. And I was crying. And I said, I promise you on my life, we're not going to Florida. We'll go somewhere else. I promise you. And he said, okay, you can go get the dogs now. They were at the groomers. And he said, uh, but you're, you're not changing your mind. 
you know, I will take control. I'm in control now. And he ran down the stairs with his stuff. And we just got out of there as quick as we could and went and got our dog. And we've been hiding out ever since. How did you get your phone back? He threw it back on me after he shut it down. Okay. He didn't want me calling anybody. He wanted to make sure I wasn't recording him. And so he threw it back onto my lap and I just let it lay there until we got up and took off. Okay. Um, when he, um, did he prevent you guys from leaving? At first, yes, absolutely. How did, he would not let us leave. Did he tell you you're not, you're not going to leave? Yeah, he said, you're not going anywhere. He said, I'm going to shoot you right, I should do it right now. But I want us to go together. And this is going to be a big, what do you say, a big blaze of something, a big blaze. We're going out in a blaze, I think is what he said. And I just, I couldn't even think straight. I, I could not believe this poor grandson that we raised and we were doing this. Right, okay. Um, where were you guys at in the house when all this happened? Was it the kitchen? No, we were sitting in the living room. So he ran downstairs, and at that point you guys got the dogs, or uh, were able to get in the car and leave? We got, um, as soon as we caught, I promised that we were not going to Florida. And he said, okay. And then he just ran down the stairs, but he kept screaming, Remember, I'm in control. I'm in control. You won't change your mind. And then we just grabbed our stuff and got out of there as fast as we could. We went through the garage. Six months stand by the phone. And then we have not been back since. But he keeps calling me and he tried to get me to go to Taco Bell to get him food. So I, so I think he was going to come find us because he knows we're calling you now. Okay. He knows we would have been home. So he, he wants to kill us. He, he wants to shoot us first. I know. Hey, K9, if you want to push farther down, okay. I'm going to leave a 71 here for just a second, then I'm going to get a better eye here. Um, was the car there when you guys left? <laughs> so it's parked down yeah. the street. Just give me verbal permission it's to parked down the, the street from the owner there. Okay, one second. Um, Pam, are we okay to go in your house and look? Um, if he's there, he'll be in the basement and he'll be loaded, but he has bullet, he has bullet piercing, okay, are you guys bullet that? people, address and he's got, he's got gear that is, um, body armor. His car is parked down the street, so we're not sure that he's home. Are we okay to go inside and look around? Yes, but be prepared. Okay. Be prepared. Okay. Down are, the street, he may be waiting for us. I don't know. Okay, where are you guys heading to right now? I'm sorry, what was that? Where are you guys heading to right now? Sam 1161, mission to the we're, we're a long ways from home. We, we didn't want to take a chance. Yeah, well, they've given permission to search. Yeah, his mom's calling me right now. Okay, King Harvey, we got that. Uh, trying to give him information. Like what is, uh, what's what's mom's yet? name? Laura Bertel. Laura? Yes. Okay, get the phone. Bertel? Bertel. B-O-E. Like and then what's her phone number? Do you know? He wouldn't be with her, no, would he? No, he's cold. I'm not telling her anything because she'll relate it to him because he threatened last night to kill her. Okay. And we had to get her out of the house. That's when he was talking to my husband. He had to get her out of the house and get her home safe. And out of her but, house um, down the street? She lives yeah, in Yeah, where she lives. But then Andy was over at her house. She left me a message and said, Andy's outside. He's going crazy. He's hollering. What's happening? Tell me what's happening. And I had to ignore him because I don't want her to have him hold the gun to her head and her have to tell him anything. So she called you saying that he's over there with her? No, he was outside the house. When was the 
one was that. That was the one with those. Okay. Where does she live? She lives on um, Pilgrimage. But you have to get to the front door from Froggy, uh, no, what's the name of it? Doggy, little doggy way, little doggy way. Do you know the Do you know the numbers on the um on the home? Six three six 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 three six six Pilgrimage Road. Okay. All right. I'll call you right back. Okay. Bye. bye. Sixty one info. RP Pam is stating that she received a phone call from her daughter, Laura, who is the suspect's mother, Brick. Laura advised that Andy was outside of her home uh, and threatened to kill her, Brick. She lives at 6366 Pilgrimage, Brick. RP also advised earlier this morning, Andy uh, kidnapped them, threatened to kill them, and stated that uh, everybody was going to die today. Over here. I understand that. Here, come here. Come here. He's, Stay right what here. What do you guys think he's gonna do? We don't know. That's that's what we're trying. Why don't to you just talk to him? We're what gonna, the so, fuck? Someone, someone's on the phone with him now, talking to him. We're trying to figure it out. Okay. Is there a patrol unit for you that can come pick up mom? I want my mom. I... Okay, I'm going to try to get you to her. Will you let me give you a ride over there? Yes, please. Okay, come right over here. Oh my god, I made a perfect. I don't want him to die. I don't want him to get stuck. You won't. Don't you here, right here. Get, get inside. Get inside. Just get inside. I'm going to drive you over there, okay? So you're with your mom. We're, we're not safe right here. Get inside. Get her out. Oh god, I can't. Just I get can't leave him. Get in. You're get fine. Inside. Get in now. Get in. I can't inside. leave him. Ma'am, get inside. You're, you're getting arrested for obstructing, please. Listen, go get inside. So just get in right now. Get inside. You can't this is Absolutely, I can. Obstructing what? what Let's do in our going? job. But what are you doing? Put your feet in. Let me roll down the window. I will. I will. Put your feet in. I can't. I can't roll it down from here. Please. I have to go to the driver door. I have it claustrophobia. Is. Okay, I will. And I, okay. Have I got problems. it. I got it. You don't understand. Okay, I'll I've roll it. I've been through a lot today and I've been abused okay. and hurt. Okay, I And I do not want to go in the back of this car. Well, you're going to. And I can, I can only open the window from the driver I need door. So your get in. help. And I don't want to be put in the back of this car. Please. Get in now. My son's going to die. Don't you understand? No, he's not. Yes, he Look, is. Look, he's going to roll the window down. Put your feet. Put your feet inside. I can't leave. I can't leave. Be okay. I can't. I can't. I can't be okay. Our job is to do this as safely as possible, okay? It's going to be okay. I can't. But I'll right now, it's dangerous with you right there. here. I'll walk over there. I can't leave. I can't leave. I can't leave. I have to walk over no. there. Not, Please, I can't not, stay in the back of this get, car. Get I'll just stay right here. No, this is dangerous. Please. I can't have you sitting right here. I'm not going to go okay. here. Please. Put your feet in. I can't. Put your feet in. Just right here is fine. No. Go. I'm not leaving. Ma'am. Put your feet just in. Let me stay here. No. Please. Okay. Put your, put your, put your feet in and I'm going to put you in handcuffs right now. Put your, put your feet in right now. Oh, yeah, or you're going to go in handcuffs. Okay. You're gonna put somebody in here. My son's gonna die. Yes, yes, sir. Please don't kill my son. Please. 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 Please.
sick. He's sick, okay? Please. He's just sick. Zebra 6, I need a patrol car to Old Glory and Little Doggy right now to pick up the mom. Please open the door. Okay, give me one second. Hold on. Put my legs down. One on Deputy Fritchie. 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 Zebra 6 on that. Uh, 16064. Your incident has been updated. Logging out. Logging back in as Norbud. Zebra 6, do I have a patrol unit coming to Little Doggy and Old Glory to pick up the mother? Peterson just told Sam 11, 11 that he has tannery inside, bomb making materials, that he's going to start shooting through the wall right now. He said, You better. The Highlander itself is on uh, Silverbow, just to the east, so around the corner here. Is that Silverbow? So he's like saying it? he's now. Hey, you guys leave now. So Silverbow is the street over, isn't it? No, it's the street that runs east, east and west. So it's the next one over to yep. that way. It's parked on Silverbow. He's saying now that he has Tannerite and he's gonna start blowing shit up and shooting through the walls. So he's on the phone with us. Okay, get inside. At least sit there. I can, I'll leave the door open. <laughs> what did he say? What did my son say? What does he have? What's that? What does my son have? I'm not worried about that right now. Well, I need to know. What does he have? What did he say? What does he have in there that you know? I have no idea. Okay. He brought a bunch of stuff with him. I have no idea. You need to evacuate this walk. That's what you need to do. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay, no, you need, open the no, door. You're not, you need to evacuate the seat. block now. Okay, we're going to. You need to. Okay. You need to evacuate the neighbors. Okay. He's got a lot of stuff in there. Do you understand? Zebra 6. The mom's telling me that he's got a lot of stuff and she's begging me to evacuate everybody. You need to get these people out of here. I don't know what he has. Have, and... Okay, have a seat. Dispatch Zebra 6, do you have a patrol unit coming to pick up the mom? I can talk him down. I can no. make him come out. 
I can get him. I can get him. I can get him dead. He's gonna kill you guys. Oh, it's oh. not gonna happen. Okay, have a seat. We're gonna go. Z versus six, I copy. Where should I go? Can I drop you off at your mom's house? Sir, he's gonna, he's gonna kill as many of you as he can. <laughs> Neighbor six, mom's saying that he's please. gonna kill as many of us as he can and kill himself. Okay, have a seat. We're getting out of here. Okay. Have a seat. We're gonna go over to your mom's house. Zebra 6, I'm taking the suspect's mom over to the Rubicon Drive address. You know, you don't know exactly what, if he has any weapons or, or what materials he has. There's no one else in there, right? No. Okay. I told my roommate not to come home and that she's going to be making another death. Cam 11. He's got my phone, so I don't know where I'm Zebra 6. I just confirmed with suspect's mom. There's no one else in there. Um, and he's got her phone. Someone watch her. Suspect's mom. Yeah, his mom. I don't know her name. It's, it's Sergeant Hammond. I'm Sergeant Hammond. Six, according to the homeowner, they don't have any cameras and they don't have access to her cameras. Six, I can park my vehicle there to block if that's what we need. Zebra 6, I dropped off suspect's mom with Sam 11. I'm back in her out.
you guys can just go but go back home go inside if you don't live around here go home what's that where's your vehicle and where do you live like far okay just hang out Can't go to your vehicle now. We're evacuating everyone.
I took her to Sam 11. All of the stuff is out for Sam 11. Keep your hands up! Keep your hands up! Bond. No way. Nope. Holy crap. I was like, you can make it an elevated bond. Like, what are you thinking? A million dollars? Okay. So I'll just throw this in the house whenever we're done. Thank you. It'll be a while because the robot's taking every little possible bomb. Oh, 
Okay, so that's the other thing. Is if it's mixed, it would be obvious that it's been opened and mixed and moved. And so, if it, I mean, if it's factory sealed, I'm not so concerned about it. Um, once we get this secured and it's ready to turn it over to control, do you guys at that point want to do another look and walk through? My shotgun goes right there. Where? So, Gibson just brought me this uh, search warrant. Okay. To leave in the house. The only, just the copy of the warrant signed by the judge, right? Yeah. Okay, good. That's all we need to leave. So it, it may have happened that that's not what we left on another search warrant. Yeah. Um, million dollar bond. Really? Good. Yeah. Good. Apparently, terroristic threats are kind of a big deal.
Yeah. They all did. I just don't want to come in my bathroom. Well, I've already touched everything. Oh, I don't care about it. There's no explosives up here. Have you seen anything? No. You mean you guys didn't do a search? That's what I'm doing now. He came up to the chest. I was just upstairs. Oh. You mean so I was messing around in a room that might potentially have a bomb in it and nobody told me? Yeah, I didn't want to take it to your face. Well, that's great. I just need help putting it all together and taking it out. It's only the up, upstairs room that he's got all this stuff. If there's nothing else. No, I, I drove through everything and then we even walked everything. I didn't see anything. Mm -hmm. It looked like he was mainly held up in that room because uh, all the uppers and lowers are in that black uh, suitcase. I know Squat told you. So there's guns and uh, ammo just yeah. all over. Yeah, yeah, I saw all that. Okay. Um, was it all like that, or did you guys take anything apart? Uh, the only thing that is vaguely different is um, to check to make sure the armor and gas were booby trapped. I did shift it with the robot oh. to make it. Yeah, but other than that, no. Does it just look like a mess? I couldn't tell what you were trying to do. It was just when we showed up. Hmm. What creep? Well, no, no, you don't know. 